first uh, and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Shalom, and peace, and blessings to the Akio uh, out there pushing this truth throughout the four corners of the earth in sincerity. Uh, this week, you know, I was getting into the spirit of, you know, uh, Jake needs to wake up. And, and, and the only ones that are going to wake up are the 144,000, the elected uh, of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, which is you uh, so called Negro, so called Latino, so called Native American Indians, and, uh, and Seminoles, are going to die here in America with this current way of things. And, uh, you know, with that, you know, those who have this truth and have been given this truth, you got to come out and do the work. But Israel is, is, is hard hearted, hard headed. You know, they don't want to come out, they don't want to hearken unto the Most High and come and do His will, right? Even Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, feed my flock, right? Feed the sheep. And those that don't want to do that, that's fine. You know, the Most High has something in store for you, but it's not its not salvation, right? Because while you yet had liberty, uh, you, you, you loathe the law. As the scriptures say, rough, roughly paraphrasing. And this is Ezekiel 2, starting at 1. And he said unto me, Son of man, stand upon thy feet, and I will speak unto thee. And the Spirit entered into me when he entered into me when he spake unto me, and set me upon my feet, that I heard him that spake unto me. Right? Because when you come into this truth, the most high he, he speaks to you. Right? You, you hear the word, and then this, if it's if it resonates with your spirit, it starts to, the spirit starts to rise up in you. And verse 3, and he said unto me, Son of man, I send thee to the children of Israel. Right? He doesn't send us to any other nation. Because if he sent us, the scriptures say, if he sent us to any other nation, that they would have heard us. And they would have received the word. And we'd already be, you know, salvation would have already come. Right? But he sent us unto the nation of Israel, which is a, a stiff-necked, hard-headed people. To a rebellious nation that hath rebelled against me, they and their fathers have transgressed against me even unto this very day right the nation of israel like even unto our our forefathers because you know we believe in reincarnation so it was it was the ones that are rebelling now are the ones that rebelled then the ones that are righteous now are the ones that were righteous then and they're standing up for what they believe in trying to come out and do this work right and those that don't do this work were the same ones that rebelled back then and the most high said these people have rebelled against me you know, the same, same person that gives you, you know, how proud is that? The same, the same power, God as you ignorant people call it, Yahweh, the same power that gives you the energy to get up in the morning and take a breath, right? That allows you to go and get food, that allows you to walk freely without being crushed by, a, you know, a car or, or, or step, step on the wrong cliff and fall off. The same power that gives you that liberty, you can't respect him and do his will and do what he asked you to do. You know, it's like it's like a, a rebellious son against a father. You know, he asks you, hey, all I need you to do is wake up in the morning, clean your bed, brush your teeth, get ready for school. And when you get done with school, I need you to come home, take out this trash and, and clean the living room and vacuum. And that's all you got to do every day. But you don't want to do that. You want to wake up, you know, roll out of bed, just kind of put the covers over, you know, go smoke a blunt. Skip, skip class, all right? Come home. Instead of uh, instead of doing your chores, you sweep. You sweep. You, instead of vacuuming, you, you sweep the little bit of dirt off of it and take tape. Get the rest of the lint. You know, you you want to find a way around doing what the Most High or your uh, you know in, in the example your father asked you to do, right? And that's that's the nation of Israel. For they are impudent children and stiff-hearted. And the same word for heart uh, and, and, and mind is they coincide. It's lob in the in the Hebrew. Stiff-hearted or, or stiff-headed. I do send thee unto them, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus saith Yahweh power, Yahweh power. And they, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear, for they are for they are a rebellious house, yet shall yet shall know that there hath been a prophet among them, right? Because guess what? In the end, you know, that the same niggas, uh, spicks and, uh, and, and, and prairie niggas, they walk by and scoff like, oh, we're not Israelites and, 
oh, they're just idiots. They're out there in dresses and blah, blah, blah. You, you will know that there hath been a prophet, fr prophet among you, right? Because here we are piping unto you, giving you this beautiful song. You all like to dance. You all like to uh, get down to the, with the, you know, get the good foot, as they say, right? And here we are putting our time and effort in, you know, not for you. This is for the most high, but he set us, set us to send us out to you to do this for his will. Right? And if you are of the elect, 144,000, we do this for you. But you will hear, and you will dance. And again, and you will come join the band, and come sing, and come and come play the, the, the musical instrument, which is this truth, the Bible. Right? The ones that you that won't, you can be like, oh man, that song sucks. And I'm going to keep on moving. Right? Then you hear Lil Uzi Vert come on, you want to get down to that. Right? It's foolishness. It's madness. Right? Here, here we are telling you that you are a royal nation of people and the Most High is coming back to save you if you be a part of his elect, but you don't want to hear that. You'd rather hear that, oh man, I'm a Wakandaite. You know, I, well, I got this dashiki that my uncle had back in the 80s and 90s when he was black power, this and that, right? But Wakanda is, 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 is a, something that the white man made up. It's fiction, right? It's like you reading a book, a fiction book, and now you want to start being this character in the fiction book. Jake is a is an idiot, man. All right, this is uh, Exodus 32 and 9. And Yahweh said unto Moses, I have seen this people, and behold, it is a stiff-necked people. Right? These people, they don't want to, they don't want to hear. They don't want to hear the words of the Lord. They don't want to, like, like the brother was going into today at camp. You know, they, they're not strong enough to submit, right? They think it's a weak thing to submit themselves unto a power, right? Because, because the world and the white man has taught them that, oh, man, you know, you ain't got to listen to nobody. Do as you will, you know. You only got one life to live. Live it to the fullest and die, right? And you believe that nonsense, right? But, but the scriptures tell you, that if you hearken unto what the Most High Power, Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, tells you to do, right, that he has a glorious kingdom that's a, that awaits you. And all you have to do is listen and do the work and believe. And if you believe, you will come out and do this work in, in all wholehearted sincerity, right? You you know, even, even when times get tough, you know, you got, you got this and that going on. You know, this is your refuge. Like all week, man, we come out, we got to fight through doing this and that in the world. But the chance we get to sit down and jump into the scriptures is our is our refuge, right? That's why the scriptures say the Most High is our refuge, our high tower, our buckler, and He's also our comforter, right? He comforts us because when we get a chance to get into this Word, this is where we like to be, right? When we got it, when we get to come out here on the highways and the byways and do this work, we enjoy this, right? Like Apostle Hart went into this week. If you're not on fire for this word, man, go ahead. Bow down. Go do something else. Right? Because this is the only thing we have that, that, that cleanses our soul that, that also gives us the comfort in this society that we hate to live in. You know, we, we, we don't wake up hoping for another day. Like, oh, man, you know, I can't wait for, you know, in 10 years, my son, he's going to be. No, man. We want, we want salvation right now. We wake up praying for salvation. We wake up praying for the downfall of this wicked society known as America. Uh, this is Ezekiel 33 and 33. I'm going to start at 31. And they come unto thee as, as the people cometh, and they sit before thee as my people, and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they shew great, or they shew much love, but in their hearts goeth they go or in their heart goeth after their covetousness and lo thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play very well on an instrument for they hear thy words but they do them not and when this cometh to pass lo it will come then shall they know that a prophet hath been among them right and that's uh that's basically it you know the most high he gave us this truth to come out and sing a beautiful song unto the, to, to the nation of Israel. And two-thirds is just going to have to die and, uh, and come back in a, in a different way because they, they chose not to do this word.
one, one last scripture before I get after it. Uh, 2 Ezra 9 and 11. And they that had loved my law while they had yet liberty, loathed, select it, loathed my law while they had yet liberty, and when yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but, but despised it. The same shall know, shall know it by death, uh, after death by pain, right? So with that, I'm going to wrap it up, you know, to the two-thirds of the nation of Israel. You know, you just heard, you know, your judgment. And to the one-third, you, you heard your judgment as well, which is unto salvation. You know, Lord willing, you know, us that come out and do the will of the Most High Power be a part of that number. So with that, Shalom on.